94.9 The Rock, GTA's rock station. Special guests formed in London, Ontario in 2013 and on the road playing songs from their last album called Circles. And tonight they are live at the Music Hall in Oshawa. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Texas King. Hey, Lee. Uh, okay. I was just hoping you'd just start playing. Or maybe I should have set you all up that way. You want to do something first and then we'll get acquainted? Sure, yeah. This okay. song's called Boomerang. Yeah, it's anything off our album, so. Yeah, that was your last single from the, uh, well, this from, the, from this current album, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. then. That's cool. You've been working this for a little while, haven't you? Indeed. And it's a good song. I haven't heard it this way before, so let her rip. All right. applauds too <laughs> so do you take that to the band in that shape and then you guys recreate all around or no or, how does it go? or do you sit in a room and all come up with ideas together that particular song we were all jamming at mm -hmm. uh, at practice uh, in my basement at the time my old place and yeah it came together quite quick actually just uh we were playing uh we we're trying to make an ending for another song that we were writing mm -hmm. and colin actually came up with the progression and then Immediately, I was kind of like, "Oh man, I think that's its its whole own thing. We should we should just jam that for a bit, and then 
boomerang surfaced that day. <laughs> I just love the idea of a seed for a song coming from a jam. A moment, and all of a sudden it sprouts like a seed and grows <laughs> into a giant tree yeah. and comes around like a boomerang. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lovely metaphor, by the way. I guess that comes from a, kind of a personal space, maybe. I guess, yes. Yeah. The whole, that's the whole idea that every action has a consequence. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So where did you guys meet? You're from London, University Town, maybe you want Western? Uh, no, we're no. not that fancy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're college boys from Fanshawe College. Okay, great. You know, I was trying to, I was trying to bring the college out of my head there for a second, yeah. so thanks for doing that. We met at the in Music Industry Arts Program, me, mm -hmm. Colin, and Phil. Yep. And Melvin's from Cambridge. He joined recently. Well, I guess it's been like a year and a half now, eh? <laughs> So a music industry course is a pretty popular in community colleges right now. Do they do they direct you toward any specific discipline or is it just uh, all encompassing? Yeah, it's a bit of everything. Like mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the kids uh, that went to our program uh, are more like geared towards the technical side. So mm -hmm. maybe like producing or like recording, being a en recording engineer, you know, making records. But there's also business courses and stuff. And, mm -hmm. uh, so some people want to do video game sound design. Some people want to become an entertainment lawyer. Or work at a record label, so mm -hmm. it's like a little sampler of everything, I think. And okay, and I think the standstills. Yeah, you know the standstills. Yeah. They were they're uh, Fanshawe students, but they were same, back same in program. Two right. seven to twenty seven, or excuse me, two thousand and seven, two thousand eight, in or around there. Yes. When did you guys did you graduate? Yes, we you did. did. You graduated yeah. and you went on the road. <laughs> Mom and Dad wanted you to do just that. Exactly. Now get right. your college degree and yeah. then go out on a bus <laughs> with four stinky guys and a road manager. <laughs> that works out great, doesn't it? Yeah, we uh, the, the band started, I guess. The full band sort of started in second year. Um, Colin and Jordan had got together in, in the very first year, but mm -hmm. uh, second year, which is the, the final year we started and graduated, I guess that would have been 2013. Mm -hmm. Basically, once we graduated, school was off the table. We were able to tour and go out for longer stretches of time. Yeah. The business is so much different now because, you know, back in the day you started up a band and there was an, uh, there was a, an infrastructure in place that uh, hopefully would discover you and, and you would... Uh, find yourself emulsified inside that industry. Now you have to come at it with a business perspective. So you have to have that discipline and it's really, really helpful, especially with the ever changing landscape out there, which yeah. seems to, it's really, really hard to stay on top of everything. And I'm surprised the colleges can kind of do that, but it's up to guys like you to be able to, to kind of take it to that, to that next level, I guess. Yeah. Well, there's no part of the curriculum that says go live in a van on the road for 60 days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were just kind of like, you got to figure that out on your you own. You call it the yeah. sickness. You yeah. know, like, and there's nothing in that curriculum that uh, that uh, that you can learn that you don't learn in 60 days in that van together. Is, is, that, is that true? Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of uh, they they try to prepare you, but you figure out a lot when you actually go out and do it. Yeah, you, know, you yeah. learn a lot of things. Good for you. Good for you. So, Music Hall Oshawa tonight. Great room. You're playing with uh, the Lad Classic. Yep. Uh, great uh, band. Victory Mark. Yeah, and, and um, um, Dakota Mill. Dakota Mill saw them a couple of weeks ago. They're terrific. Yeah. So I think yeah, another it, former uh, music industry arts graduate. A yeah. Of those guys. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I can't keep up with all you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is insane. Okay. So how about uh, I let you guys go? You got sound check at uh, four o'clock, so you're gonna have to do load in a couple of minutes. Um, here's a song called. Let me see if I can just pull it up here. Oh yeah, this is the new single. It's called. Uh, it's called uh, Only One from the latest record called Circles. Anything you want to tell us about it before we do that and let you go? I'd say you know it's a, it's a song all about the fear of missing out, and some sometimes you're inside, you're thinking everyone's out having a better time, but more likely than not, you're doing fine right there on the couch, you know, watching a movie. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, fight the urge. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Texas King, Music Hall, Oshawa tonight. This is only one, 94.9 The Rock.